Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Luca. Today I'm showing you my version of the Dior Glowing Garden Spring 2016 look. These are the products I used on my face and I will start by applying Maybelline's The Eraser to my under eye circles. It is a tad yellow for me but that counteracts the purple and I had just four, nine, uh, four hours of sleep the night before so I really need all the help I can get. Patrice Hall Matte Foundation mixed in with some The Body Shop Lightning um, Shade Adjusting Drops goes all over my face. That foundation will dry down to a slightly matter finish, which I actually enjoy and which resembles the model. And now it's time for some spot concealing and collection lasting perfection. And for the Body Shop um, Shade Adjusting Drops again which I will use to highlight. That looks scary because they are really white, but they blend in very, very nicely, at least with my color at the moment, and with a nice lifted effect. On my lids will be MAC Paint Relay Paint Pots as an eyeshadow primer, and then I'll use the MAC Eyeshadow in Semi Pressures, and apply that one to the outer third of my lid. It's a lovely deep, purple color and bring it in in a second up until the middle of my upper lash line stain beneath the crease all the time. I then used the eyeshadow Dame's Desire again by MAC again limited edition and realized that I hadn't zoomed you in with close up of the products I used on my eyes and zooming in wasn't my best idea because I got out of focus so you will have to deal with me for the next uh, one minute to be slightly blurry and Dame's Desire goes into the center of my lid and um, a little above the much darker semi pressure shade as you can see here just to soften everything a little and then I'll use Sand and Sun, a peachy orange shade on the inner part of my eyelid and take that again above all the others right up into my crease to soften the look even more. I then take a clean blending brush and blend out the edges and eyeshadows so the lines don't look too harsh in the end and you get a gradient effect you'll be able to see later on that pattern. Then a pink slight eyeshadow called Green Costume. It's more yellow or lime green and that one goes in the inner part of my eyes and up on my brow bone. And some liquid eyeliner, Loya Super Liner and Extra Black Gloss, just a thin line above my lashes. The model is obviously very forcey, but I'm not going to do this. On my lower lash line, I will take the Loyalty Kissime eyeliner and smudge that one a little with my fingers, just on the outer third to give a little more definition. And then mascara, long comb brows mascara. And there you are zoomed out again and come back to focus. I use whatever she left on my foundation brush to cancel out my natural lip color and to clean up the fallout. And then I'm up to apple. This is a thin chubby stick blended in with my fingers and topped up for more intensity with the MAC powder eyeshadow in prim and proper from the Liberty of London collection. The the lipstick I'm using is from Revlon, it's called Kissable Queen, and it usually doesn't show up on my lips at all, but because I cancel out the initial lip color, it looks pink. Here I'm trying to sort out my hair and do my model expression, which I um, don't know if you can see for yourself, is absolutely not work out, which I realize and then just start showing you the pictures with a little bit of a red eye, I'm sorry for that. There's a close-up of the eye, so you can see the eyeshadow placement a little better, and I hope 
hope you enjoyed it. As always, details will be up on the blog, and we'll see you the next time. Bye.